hey guys Taban Sharma here and I'm back with another tutorial and in this tutorial we'll be working on integrating phone pay payment gateway into a Laravel application so the mechanism for integrating phone pay is quite simple so we have a documentation a developer documentation which provides a mechanism of how we can actually integrate it on any system so it basically has two steps the first is the request payment so we uh, make a request to the phone pay server by providing some parameters and then in the next step what it will do is it will send us a response with uh, with the values with the parameters that we send and also with uh, additional responses that the phone pay server sends us back and then in the next step what we'll be doing is we'll be verifying that payment by again providing those parameters and hence it goes through two-step verification in order to make a complete transaction on any system so we have some we need uh, to specify some parameters here like ru means a success url uh, which when uh, we make a request to the server then we need to provide a return url which will be our own hosts url so we will be processing that request through that url and the pid is the unique merchant code these are all the parameters that we'll be looking at while we send the request to the server so let's go ahead to the bottom where we have the code for the php part and here we have all these parameters so what i'll do is i'll just copy these and okay i'll just copy from here up to the php code part so i'll just copy up to here uh, so what i've done here is i have a fresh installation of laravel and let me just remove all these unnecessary styles and i'll just also remove these divs and route links and let's go to our browser and let's first copy the form and then later we'll be copying the php part so go ahead and paste that here and okay click to pay it's fine and we'll be getting all these values from our controller so i'll just multi-select these and then replace that i'll just select these and paste that here and we don't really need this okay so we need to get all these values from our controller so for that let's go to our routes and web.php so here we are executing a function so let's go ahead and define a new controller for that so php artisan make controller let's create a controller called front end controller so for now we'll be processing the payments with this controller as well but in your case you can actually make a new controller called payments controller and then process the all the payment related requests or all the payment related actions on that controller so for now i'm just creating a simple controller called front end controller hit enter and what i want to do is whenever i go on the home page whenever i click on the slash button then i want to go to so since this is laravel 8 we need to define this syntax front end controller class and i want to go to the index function so we need to import this front end controller class as well so this is imported let's go ahead to the front end controller class and define an index function so public function index here so what i want to do is i want to return view which is welcome we also need to uh, send some variables for that let's go ahead and define the payment dev url that will be so this is the payment dev url so i'll just copy this and paste that here and the next thing that we need is okay we can actually copy this whole part so okay we'll be changing that 
यूनिक आईडी पीआईडी शेयर सीक्रेट की डीवी एंड ओके वी कैन एक्चुअली कॉपी ऑल दीज पेस दैट हियर एंड लेट मी जस्ट फॉर्मेट दिस प्रॉपर्ली सो फॉर नाउ द एमडी इज पी एंड विल बी यूजिंग अमाउंट टेन द करेंसी इज एनपीआर द डेट इज द करेंट डेट सो इट विल गेट द गेट टूडेज डेट and r1 and r2 r test so we don't also need these and the success url so we'll be defining a new url here and the prn will be a unique id so that will be generated and okay this prn so pid is the merchant id and the shared secret key so these two values are provided by phone pay itself whenever we make a new merchant account and then we'll need to calculate a dv which is by which is calculated by using the hash hmac function and the algorithm that will be used is sha512 encryption uh, mechanism will be sha512 and it will send all these parameters and then with the help of this shared secret key this will make a new hashed value and then what we can do is we can actually pass these variables to our welcome view so let me just copy that and okay paste that here so i'll just copy these all these uh, values from here and be right back so i have finally copied all these uh, variables and we are passing that to the uh, welcome view and now if we go ahead to our welcome date.php welcome.blade.php and also reload the browser so we are getting a error an error called unexpected semicolon so we need to go to the visual studio code and here let's remove these semicolons save that and now everything should work fine okay one more error undefined variable dv so let's also send that dv save that and now let's go ahead and reload our browser so okay we have a button called click to pay and let's first define a payment uh return url so we, we need to define that in our web.php and that will be a get method so let's define it as payment verify since we are verifying the payment so we need to let's define a function for that so which will go to front end controller and inside the verify payment method so let's go ahead and define that verify payment method and here we'll be receiving multiple parameters whenever we get the response from the phone pay server so that is defined on the verification part so we have so we need to specify the pid in the shared secret key so these are provided by the phone pay itself so we have request data and we'll get these parameters and we need to calculate it again so here we get the prn we get the pid we get the bid we get the amount which is we need to specify the original payment amount and not the amount that we get from the server uh, not the amount that we get as a response we need to specify the original amount here and the uid and also the dv so this is again calculated and then we again send a new request to the server so that will be for this case we'll be sending it to verify dev url but in the production version we need to send it to verify live url and then we make a get request to this verify dev url and then if the response was successful we get a response of success of true and then according to that we can make we can store the dts to our database or send a, or specify a message that the payment verification failed so this is how the complete process is completed so for the verification part let's go ahead and define the prn pid so we have prn will be request we get we can actually specify the request object here so that will be request prn and we have bid uid so notice i'm using capital letters here since the response that we get from the phone pay server are also in uppercase format so we need 
to take care of the case sensitivity so bid and we also have uid so request uid and we also need to calculate the dv so for that we have the pid and the shared secret key so this is the value that we can get that we receive from the phone pay that we get from the phone pay so this is actually secret and now we need to calculate the dv so this is calculated again from on our side the so dv will be okay since it is sending a request here i'll just store that on a variable so dv will be hash hmac it will be sha512 the PID, BID, UID, and here we can actually replace that with PRN. This will be BID, and this will be UID. And we also need okay, we need to store all these parameters, all these values inside the request data array. Okay, so I'll just copy this whole part and then make a new array, define a new array of request data and in here what we can do is we can again specify the prn the bid we don't have okay this is actually capital this is the bid and the amount so this is actually the original payment amount and not the amount that we get from the response so keep that in mind as it's already mentioned here so this is the original payment amount so in this case if you are using it on an e-commerce website it could be again allocating the value from the database getting the value from the database or calculating the amount from the cart or anything like that so this will be the actual amount and the uid will be the uid that we can that we get from the server so you can we can use any one of them and so we also have the dv here okay that's good so now okay i'll just copy this part and paste that here and we don't need this line okay and the next step here is we need a client a verified dev url so i'll just copy this so whenever in production case what we can do is we can actually define this in our environment variables and then access it so that you don't if any of the values changes then it will automatically reflect everywhere so defining an environment variable and using that would be a good approach in such cases and let's copy this code as well so we are making a request get request to this verify dev url let me just format that and here we are initiating the request and then we are making a get request to that url and when we get the response so response will be we are decoding that response xml and storing that to response and if the response success is equal equal to true that means our payment was completed otherwise our payment verification failed so everything should work fine now so our final thing that we need to do here is we need to test it so if i go ahead and click to pay then we are redirected to the phone pay url phone pays dev url for now and i can actually choose global ime pay and let me just op enter a random mobile number 10 digit in number password and click on login so here do we need an otp okay we don't need it maybe if i click on pay okay we have an error here localhost verified or php maybe we did, didn't change the verify url here if we have this ru in our front end controller we have ru as okay we didn't change this so this was our mistake so here what we can do is we can specify the route that will be let's name it verify payment save that and i'll just copy this and paste that here so this is the actual url that will be hit that will hit whenever the phone pay wants to send a response to our server back 
so we'll hit here and we'll go to front end controller class to verify payment function and then we are again initiating another request to the phone pay server for verification and if the verification is successful then our transaction gets completed otherwise we'll have an error so now let's go ahead and again reload our browser and click click to pay so let's click on global ime and let me just enter a random mobile number which should be 10 digits in length password is one two three four and otp is one two three four and if i click on pay then our payment verification failed and the data validation failed so what's the error here so we need a bid okay bid so let me just actually what we can do is we can die dump these values prn bid and uid and also here what we are doing is okay we are not sending any bid so if i go ahead and reload the browser then as you can see we have a bid parameter of null so this is the reason we why we are getting the very uh, payment verification failed error so here what we need to do is instead of sending a request bid of null what we can do is we can make a check so if request bid is set then what we want to do is we want to send the bid actual bid otherwise we'll be sending an empty string so if i go ahead and now reload the browser then instead of seeing a null value we should see an empty string okay so now this should work fine let's go ahead and comment that code and if i go ahead and reload the browser then as you can see we have a message saying ver payment verification completed and if i zoom in then you can see that properly so this is how we can integrate payment phone pay payment gateway into any laravel application so the documentation is quite simple i'll be linking this documentation in the description box below and this much for this video i hope you like the content so if you have any issues then you can write comment below i'll try to help you if i can and in the next video we'll be integrating phone pay but in nepali language so stay tuned for that and i'll see you in the next one